Tangden had a uh, he had a great year for us and is an inspiration to all. He accomplished a lot and he did it the right way. One of the most positive kids we have on our team. He's always encouraging his teammates. Very positive, very intelligent young man. And his comments to the team were always right on and delivered in a way that would energize our team. He had some epic between period speeches. <laughs> Drew had an interesting uh, hockey career. Uh, not the typical six year old Mike getting up at, well, used to be six day, and now the mice, they let him sleep in the nine or something, right? <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Drew started playing hockey uh, with a group called the Homeschool Group, uh, run by Tim Pillsbury, and never played in a organized game until Hammerhide Junior Varsity Hockey his freshman year. I shared the story with uh, with the team after Drew had just played a game on the first line with Jake and Seth, the Londonary game. I'm not sure every, anybody in the room knew his, his hockey pedigree. Uh, I don't think anybody was there the first tryout. I, I'm going to share it with his with the parents uh, because it's just so inspirational. It's something I'll never forget. Uh, Drew tried out for the team as, as a freshman and it was apparent pretty early in the tryouts that he didn't have all the skating skills mastered. Uh, one of the very first drills we did, he had to get going full speed, which he could do really well. Uh, but then he had to pivot and skate backwards, and he had a little trouble with that. And the first time we did it, he was going 100 miles an hour, pivoted, and I think he flew probably 8 to 10 feet before he <laughs> landed. Uh, he got up and finished the drill. We did the same drill going back the other direction, and the exact same thing happened. Uh, so at that very moment, Drew, let it be known what type of person he was, the type of character he had. He wasn't going to let anything stop him. Uh, he was going to master it. And he did. He did. He went from that day to a short three years later uh, playing on our first line. And there was a video of Jake's goal that Seth uh, stole the puck backhanded it off the bar, went right down. Drew was right where we wanted him to be in front of that net, and back it out, got it to Jake, and Jake buried it. So not only did he play, he contributed, he did a great job. Um, I'll never forget that. I'll, I'll never forget the second biggest cheer of the season uh, was when he scored his goal against Exeter. And, and again, it was a situation that only Drew could have ex excelled at. <laughs> he had started the game and hadn't played particularly well, and I think we said, let me take a couple shifts off, Drew. Um, and most kids would have stewed and pouted and, mo and moped and questioned, and, uh, uh, and he didn't. He just couldn't wait for his opportunity to come. And Jake was on the ice, I think it was Jake, and Jake had to get hurt, he had to come off, and without even asking, Drew stepped on the ice, and what happened, the puck came right, right to him immediately, and he just took it, took their defenseman wide, uh, drove hard to the front of the net, and just banged it home, and the place went nuts. <laughs> it was, uh, it was, it was really, uh, what sports and athletics, is all about. It was terrific. The effort he put forth in, in the puck this week was also one for the record books, and, and, and I, I need to share this as well. 
We occasionally have puckless practice. They're not a thing that we do to punish kids. It's something that we do because we think it's a, it's a tool that, to help them learn. Um, and they've proven to be pretty valuable for us. And uh, we were halfway through and going, going to sprint. And one of our players, I think, had to get a drink of water or something. Uh, was was off the ice, and it came time for his group to do the sprint. And he wasn't there. And Drew had just finished doing a sprint with his group, and he, and you cannot do back-to-back -back sprints. You can't even do. You can't even take one sprint off and do it every other. You've got to have rest. Um, and Drew had won every one of his sprints with his group. And when it came time for, uh, he had just finished, he had just won. Uh, the next group, whistle blew. Nobody was there to fill in the hole, so Drew took it. I just, out of the corner of my eye, see this kid <laughs> start doing another sprint. Um, just enough for you to complete his one. And it was, it was terrific. It was, it was, uh, it was something that, that again, I, I, when I talk at my retirement party, it's going to be a story that I'm going to, I'm going to share. Um, then it came, finished that one, came time again. Uh, he got one off, and he did his sprint, won that one, and then the other player was still, I think, having a drink of water. <laughs> and. There's no way Drew just couldn't do it. <laughs> he couldn't do it, but he made sure he made sure somebody on our team did it. And um, it would not be a shock to anybody in here that Pat Logan stepped up and, and did the next one. Um, but it was just terrific. So it's what being a good teammate is all about. Drew understands uh, what the diamond is. <laughs> <laughs> if he could teach the rest of our team how to celebrate after goals, we would have had three more goals. <laughs> uh, anytime the he was on our bench, anytime the puck came within three feet of the net, his hands are up, celebration. Uh, just an enthusiastic young man. I, I've written a lot of college recommendations in my life. Uh, Drew asked me to write him one, and it was, without a doubt, the easiest one that I've had the pleasure of writing. Uh, it was just easy to, to pinpoint his strengths and what he could add to a college. The coach actually called me, and, and they never ever do. They always say they might, but he did, and said, uh, from what you've written about Drew, he's got to be one of the, the, the best young men. Yes, he is. Um, Drew finished the season with a goal, two assists. He played on our power play in front of the net. Tough to move. He's an intelligent player. He studies the game. He breaks down opponents. Um, great kid with tremendous attitude and, and work ethic. He gave everything he possibly could every single shift he was on the ice. He played every shift like it was going to be his, the last shift of his life. You knew you were going to get an honest effort from him. Uh, always in position, tough along the wall. He prepares and he plays with heart, passion, and courage. Uh, he will definitely be missed. Thanks for everything. Drew Kenyon.